All right, reach and refrigerator with a cap tube metering device. Uh, we'll take a look at the same thing. Please again note that we are not using any refrigerant types. We're only referring to temperatures of the refrigerant, the box, and the ambient outdoor air temperature. So line temp of 28 degrees Fahrenheit, box temp of 38. Ambient temperature of the air flowing across the condenser coil is 95 with a line temperature of 15, 115 degrees. So, with a box temperature of 38 degrees Fahrenheit, and you read on your gauges that you have an evaporator temperature of 18 degrees, you're going to subtract that evaporator temperature of 18 degrees from the 38 degree box temperature for evaporator TD of 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and your technician rule of thumb sheet will show you that that is a normal um, evaporator TD. And then, again, the superheat is measured in the same manner as with a TXV. You're going to put your temperature probe here on the suction line at the outlet of the evaporator, and you measure 28 degrees Fahrenheit with an evaporator temperature of 118 degrees Fahrenheit. You subtract that from the 28, that gives you 10 degrees superheat. I know this is review, but it's important to take a look at this on the diagram because when we start to take a look at troubleshooting and you're doing your troubleshooting problems, this kind of brings it all, uh, gives you a little better visualization of what you're doing. So here we have a 95 degree ambient with a line temp of 115 degrees. And if you notice, the condenser split is 30 degrees and the condensing temperature is 125 degrees and the subcooling is 10 degrees, which is pretty much in line with the the um, TXV or TEV system and the condenser splits and the subcooling are measured the same way as you do it in any other system. So that's just our quick review for the uh, a reach in, a walk in, a TXV, and a cap tube system before we start delving into some problems.